Welcome to a new episode today here at the University of St. Gallen. I'm very happy to introduce you to the head of the startup at the University of St. Gallen. And Diego, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. And, and it's kind of funny too. <laughs> Good. Welcome back to a new episode of the Startup Show. Um, in the last few weeks, we visited um, MIT in Boston. We had an interesting talk um, with a Harvard professor also in Boston. Now we are here at the University of St. Gallen, a little bit of a series of videos of the academia side of entrepreneurship. So before we get into the show, please tell us a little bit about uh, yourself. So my name is Diego Probst, and as uh, you said, I'm uh, responsible for the startup at Heiske. I'm developing uh, the startup actions here at the University of St. Gallen with events, with uh, some support staff and the uh, programs. And my background in the startup scene is that I worked a long time for a Venture Kick and Venture Lab. There are national support programs, also uh, paid by the government, but uh, mainly by the Institute for Jungunternehmen in St. Gallen, mm -hmm. which is also a very important uh, part of the Swiss economic uh, startup scene. And uh, since two years, I'm, I'm here at the university and I'm working here with my team uh, to build up the startup thing. Yeah, so, so tell us a little bit about, like, what, what do you do at the startup at Highscape? So, uh, for example, we also provide these uh, beautiful containers, these offices where we're sitting in now. Uh, we pro provide them for the students who want to build their own startup. We also have uh, support programs where they get money. For example, the Entrepreneurial Talents program, where they get 4,000 francs each. And uh, every semester we can pick four Entrepreneurial Talents. Uh, there are mainly students uh, and they have to be here from the University of St. Gallen. We have also uh, events uh, from the Gründer Garage, the Founders Garage in English, uh, where we organize events to different topics, uh, financing, marketing, pitching events, whatever. And uh, we also have investors uh, meetings where we take our startups and bring them together with investors. Uh, for example, the Silver Fox alumni, mm -hmm. an alumni chapter from the high school. Uh, where uh, about 10 alumni, they invest in, in startups in an early stage. Yeah, so, so a lot going on, a lot of programs here uh, for startups. Yes. Uh, it seems like that the university wants to kind of like push to startup. Um, when you yeah. see, uh, when you look at the Swiss mentality, usually very risk averse, they don't want to take the risk of starting their own startup. Is that something that you see when you deal with the students that want to start their own venture? Is that something that like they say, like, well, we're worried about not having a salary, we're not worried, we're yeah. worried about, you the, know, yeah. the parents getting involved? Yeah, For, yeah, especially here at the Husky, <laughs> parents play an important role now. Uh, of course, it's the best moment when you're a student to, to uh, go into your own startup because you don't have too many risks, you don't have maybe too much fixed costs, you don't have kids, you don't have a, a home to, to pay, so it's maybe the best uh, time now to push it and then try to build up something. Mm -hmm. So when you when you look at like past um, companies, what did you see, what are like maybe the most successful startups that came out from the university? Yeah, of course, I have to mention then the, the founder of, of the year. Uh, we have an award called yeah. Founder of the Year, and every year we, we give them away uh, to very uh, successful startups like Deindeal.ch, Creditech, okay. uh, or uh, Takuda, the Scan Mouse. Yeah. And they're all very successful and still are successful. And uh, I think these are the, the highlights of our history so far. But of course, we are working on, on new startups. And uh, for example, Comfylite will be also very successful. I think it's out of the Bosch lab here at the yeah. AI Temp. And <laughs> yeah. they, they're doing a, a bulb. Uh, so it's called the Internet of Thing, thing uh, an alarm system in a, in a, in a normal bulb. And uh, it will be on market uh, very soon. So this will be also go straight, <laughs> straight to heaven. Straight to heaven. <laughs> okay, very good. So thank you very much. A little bit of insight into um, what's going on here at the University of St. Gallen, uh, where I'm studying for my master's. So thank you very much for being part of the show, uh, of this series of Academia uh, videos. And uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, episode. And I'll see you soon with a new one. Have a good day. Thank you.